Hi, I'm Jim from Erie Oregon Steeple. Welcome back. Uh, today I'm going to talk about the Vickers Blue Force Gear Sling. And uh, that is uh, uh, Larry Vickers uh, allegedly designed this, and uh, uh, Blue Force Gear produces it. Uh, really nice sling. Uh, also, I'm going to show a little adaptation that uh, credit goes to Steve Thompson for this. Uh, at least that's where I learned it from. Uh, is the rubber band trick. You gather the end, wrap a rubber band around the stock, and it keeps everything nice and tidy. You can still use and function it. Uh, everything. So it's a good way to store things. And then in a hurry you want to get to it, boom, just pull it and the rubber band's inconsequential. Um, since we're handling a firearm, I'm going to, of course, make sure we're empty. I'm going to stick a chamber flag in here, so and put her on safe. And put this on, and I'll show you the unique sliding buckle the Vickers sling has here. It's kind of nice. Now I'm setting the Vickers up a little bit differently. I'm going to call it the uh, Air Yardens Depot modification. Um, I put the quick release down here instead of putting it up here uh, where perhaps somebody could get a hold of it that you don't want to get a hold of it. Here it remains a little bit protected. The other thing I did, a lot of folks will set their slings up with the quick release on the same side as the main buckle. So it'll be. The problem I found with this is that when you're transitioning around and you go from one shoulder to the other to do go around an obstacle or a corner you put yourself in a, a binding choke position. Uh, the cure for that I found out and it also helps hold it more securely to you is to do this put it on the outward side so now I transition I've got plenty of slack here as I go from shoulder to shoulder um, and boom, I can, it falls just fine either way. If I pull it away to transition to a handgun, it works well. So uh, I had a couple of customers ask how I set that up and they like how that works. So I'm going to show you how I take a standard Vickers sling and uh, set it up. Here we go. Our vector sling, and as you notice, right out of the package, she's got our slider assembly here, and you've got these two buckles there, and then we've got a glide here, a glide out on the end. I take the glide on the end off, and we have our quick release, bu quick detach buckle there, our slide buckle. I take that out. That should be down on at gun end, in my opinion. That way it's a little more protected. And what I do with this one is I put it one of these slides down here. Attach in. Oops. Just boogered that up a little bit, not badly. Okay. I use an Uncle Mike's quick detach sling swivel because they're uh, the heavy duty model. It's got a little bit thicker wire to it, uh, the loop, and a larger button. I haven't had any problems with the one that I use, so I like those. Now I pull one of these. The guy I'm going to be setting this up for is a pretty big guy, so I'm going to give him a bunch of slack here. I usually run my own a little tighter. Pull that 
tight. I don't like loose ends. That's one of the things I like about the Vickers. There are other slings out there that leave a, 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 a snag point hanging. And uh, with the Vickers, there's nothing flopping or hanging or extra to catch or drag on. So here's how I got it set up. Again, this will go to the stock. And then these two points are held tight. This doesn't move around on the sling, it stays fixed to that position. Now, on this end, what I'm going to do here is I'm going to take and remove these two, by, and I'm going to take the fabric and see how much longer we could get this. There's a lot of wasted pull length here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this and I'm going to cut these open. Now what I do is now that I've got these off and the gathering cut out and I used a, a lighter to sear any fray that I might have created there, I'll put a a glide on and what I'll do is pull it back here and I'll place our our male ended connector in here thread it through and I'll leave about enough to where I can loop this guy through glide buckle and then back through again. This is just extra, it's double secure. This thing is not going anywhere after we do that. These are one and a quarter inch metal uh, glide buckles. The, uh, now this other final end gets tucked in here. It's doubled up and looped back around so that All you're going to even have visible is the three sides of this buckle. And she's not going anywhere at this point. So now we've added probably six inches of glide to this. Now, at this point, you can do one of two things. You can take this. Uh, the original piece that came with it and modify it using another Uncle Mike's and a glide or you can go buy the Soxy Swing Push Button Adapter, QD Adapter uh, at 2450. They're sewn in permanently so you have to weigh your options. Do I want sewn in permanently or do I want something that I can change my QD if necessary and is serviceable? I like serviceability so I get rid of these guys because I really don't like them or need them. I, get a, I believe I get a more secure attachment and a neater finish with good glide. I like the metal ones. Uh, some people like the plastic ones. So. And I'll do the same thing with this. I'll thread it through. And then I'll run it back through on top to terminate it, making it exceptionally tight. Almost impossible to come off. So you can do that. Run them back through, trim your trim the excess, whatever you like. But there you go. That plug in will plug into uh, the rear on a LaRue mount, uh, LaRue forward, uh, or a Daniel Defense or uh, Midwest Industries uh, front quick detach. And you basically have the same sling I run. Uh,
and it, it works great. Well, I, I hope this has uh, been informative and helpful to anybody who's watching. And, uh, if your viewers have any more uh, interest, uh, feel free to let me know and we'll see what we can do for you.